then you're never gonna get good at approaching women. You see, what makes a man or a woman so powerful in the world is their comfort with their darker emotions, their darker feelings. Their comfort with their anger, their comfort with their sadness, their comfort with their rage, their comfort with, with uh, losing. They're, they can handle it. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna get right back up and do it again. And that's why they're successful. That's why they do well. They're not afraid of the world. Okay, I wanna talk about a simple law that is life-changing, okay? When I learned this, it changed my life radically. And if you're working on your relationship with women or money or success or your health, I want you to take a deeper look at this and really consider this for a minute. But before I do, I wanna invite you to like, subscribe. I wanna invite you to share, put some comments in. I really want the comments because I learn a lot from them. Now let's dive in. What is this law? Well, simply put, it's the law of polarity. The law of polarity is a very powerful law, and I want you to hold on and stick with me for a minute because I'm gonna explain this. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. You see, you can't have an up without a down. You can't have a left without a right. So if you're afraid of approaching women, you're constantly approaching women to get more confident, but you're avoiding the deeper feelings underneath, your anger, your hate, your rage, your sadness, your all the stuff that's buried under there, then you're never gonna get good at approaching women. You see, what makes a man or a woman so powerful in the world is their comfort with their darker emotions, their darker feelings, their comfort with their anger, their comfort with their sadness, their comfort with their rage, their comfort with losing. They're, they can handle it. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna get right back up and do it again. And that's why they're successful. That's why they do well. They're not afraid of the world. The rest of us, when we go out there, we want to cover that part up and just work on getting good at what we want to get good at. But we don't look at these deeper sides of ourselves. So the law of polarity says you can only go as high as you go up. So for example, if a tree trunk doesn't have deep, powerful roots, how's it going to have branches, right? Matter of fact, it can have roots without branches, but it can't have branches without roots all of that nutrient that comes from the earth, all that power that comes from the earth comes and, and feed the leaves, feed what, what comes out of it, right? And this is the same thing. When you're out there wanting to learn something better, if you're afraid of your shadow, your darker material, the stuff you don't wanna look at, then you're not going to get good with women. You're not gonna get good with money. You're not gonna get good with success. You're gonna have a harder time in life. And for the women out there, I keep wanting to invite more women into the channel. Whatever you're looking at, it's the same thing. So for me, I was terrified of my own fear and I was constantly pushing it down. But by looking at that fear, welcoming that fear up and letting it rise through my body, letting it flow through my body, as you can see in my last video, definitely check that video out. There'll be a link somewhere. You'll see that that fear starts to dissipate after a while. But if you're if you're constantly like, no, 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 I don't want to look at that, it doesn't dissipate. You gotta be comfortable a little bit at a time looking deeper at that fear. So I used to coach clients all the time, you know, do a few whatever you're gonna work on, but let's say it's approaching and you approach and you feel stuff coming up, sit and feel it. Let it flow through your body just a little bit at a time. Feel that. Be with that. Get comfortable with that. Because it is not going anywhere to you get used to looking at it. You don't have to like it, but you got to get used to looking at it because you can't look away if you're looking right at it and you're attached to it. I don't want to see that. I don't want to be around that. I don't want to deal with that. Then you're going to have trouble looking away at what you do want, what you do choose. I should say choose because it's a want as long as you're pulling on both sides. But as soon as you're comfortable here and you say, I can look at that, then you can look away because that doesn't bother you anymore. You can say, but I'm choosing that instead. I'm going in that direction, okay? So if I'm sitting there going, no, I don't want to look at that. I, I just uh, uh, I did five sales calls. I don't want to look at the pain. I, I approached a woman. I don't want to look at the pain. And then suddenly you're looking over here. I'm going to just keep focusing on success and you're pushing that down. That just gets stronger and stronger. But the moment you look at it and say, you know what? I'm, I can see you for what you are and I can feel you for what you are. I can look right at you, it may suck, but I can look away, I can look back, I can look away, I can look at what's good, and you know what, I can handle it. Then now I can let go of the resistance of that emotion, those emotions, and those emotions then begin to flow. They begin to flow right through into what I'm creating. 
all that repressed energy that you were holding back because you didn't want to look at it flows up and flows into like going up the tree into the branches and flows into the expression of what you're creating does that make sense so you know really let that sit for a minute you know law of polarity is a never-ending law it's everywhere right you can't have a up without a down a left without a right uh, there's yes and no and you can't have a, a question without an answer but you got to look at the question, feel it, release on it, and then allow the answer to come to you. You gotta feel the pain, release on it, and then allow the answer to come to you. It's not like you avoid the pain. That positive thinking is, I'm not gonna look at the pain at all, but that gives it power. And looking at the pain and obsessing over it gives it power. It's when you neutralize it and it's no longer pain. It just is. It's just a feeling. You're like, oh, that doesn't mean anything. It's just a feeling. Just a feeling in my body? Well, shoot, I'm gonna choose this instead. And then that energy moves over in that direction. But if you're fighting it, you're holding back so much energy that wants to go into what you're creating. Hopefully that really makes sense. I, I really wanna see you get this. So definitely put a comment in the video. Let me know if you're getting it. And I wanna welcome you for a minute to just sit in this idea. Look at what you're working on. Welcome what you wanna create in your life. And just notice what it feels like. And then notice if it's a want and be with it if it is. Sit and feel that want. And just be with that want. Notice what it feels like. And if you move it to choice, choice means you're going to get right into action. Notice what that feels like. I'm moving it out of want into choice. And now I'm going to take that choice means I'm, I'm going to do it now. Now in the now, I'm stepping into the now. Choice is courage, right? It's in the now. Want is, in, is lower. You can't get what you want, right? So then look at the problem again, what you don't want. And then ask yourself, does it mean anything about me? Does it mean anything about who I am? Notice if you can feel that it means something. And then ask yourself just to let that go. Can I let that go and look at what I'm choosing again? Here's the choice. Feel that choice. Feel the power of that choice, the courage. The courage has the open heartedness, right? So welcome your heart open, feel your stomach open, and feel the courage to look at that. And, feel the, and then notice if there's a pull back to the other energy. And if there is, look at that, go through, follow that pull, look at it, and say, I can handle that. Oh, look at it with an open heart, feel it. And then ask yourself, can you let that go? And then again, look at what you're creating. Look at what you're becoming and feel that again. And just see if you can let go. As you move back the other way, let go. Literally just let go of the resistance to that. That's all you have to do. You don't have to let go of the emotion. Just let go of the resistance. And then see if you can feel what you're creating a little bit better. Even 1% better is all it takes. And then if you feel that pull again, go back and look at it. And say, I can handle you. You don't have control over me. And, you're, and just feel that. I can be with you. I can let the... I can let go of the resistance to you and let it flow through my body and feel, feel your stomach, feel your heart. And then again, let go after that you get that little bit of flow and look at what you're creating, what you're choosing right now, and then be with that. And then just let it all go and just be for a minute and notice what that feels like. And just be and ask yourself, can I open my heart again and open my stomach? It's a simple process of looking at both sides and releasing the resistance to both sides, the attachment to the what you want and the aversion to what you don't want until it comes into your life, okay? Then you might have to go take some action. If you take some action, like you feel this inspired action, right? Like it's inspired, it's coming from my body. And then you get, oh, feel some emotions coming up. You could sit down and do this any place and just process some of those emotions. But the key is to let them all flow through you to feel them all. And that's where the big change happens. Okay. Um, so the law of polarity, don't forget that there's a seven natural laws. And uh, maybe I'll do another video on that sometime. Those are those are really powerful. And when you put all seven together, you really begin to understand how to create your reality even better. So if you guys want some of that, definitely let me know. Make sure to comment. I want to hear your comments about how this works. Make sure to like, subscribe and share and um, make sure to watch my last video where I talk about uh, Lee was talking about what you do when you're stuck and how to get past that. Um, so definitely check that out because, you know, it's along the same lines. Getting out of stuckness is huge, right? 
this is this channel is all about success but and for a lot of you it's about dating and it all applies to dating as well as it applies to money and everything else it applies to happiness really that's really what it's about happiness okay so with that said i'll see you in the next video and uh, have a beautiful day